Hey friends, it's Farmer Mel here at the LES Garden and I wanted to just take you for a little spring tour of the garden and uh, just see some really interesting and special things that are going on right now. So we're going to get started with this interesting plant, this amazing plant, and its little tiny leaves might be familiar to you, um, but those little round things are called fiddleheads and we'll look at another kind right back here they are called fiddleheads and it's so special that you actually have a third kind you can see how different they are they're so lovely fiddleheads are actually edible but when we don't eat them which we don't most of the time they uncurl into ferns beautiful big fern leaves so this whole corner of your garden is a shade garden for ferns. So we'll wish them all the best. Say happy spring ferns. And we're gonna take a magical tour. A few new flowers for the spring. And we're gonna see what's going on in here. All right, so here's the peace garden. And I was able to go to Willis's greenhouse and pick up some tulips. So in addition to the beautiful things that have been blooming that you guys planted last fall, um, the daffodils in the center and the hyacinths over here, these are things that you guys planted. This is um, a hyacinth, smells so nice. So these are things that you planted and uh, I just added a little splash of color with the tulips. Um, and uh, just to kind of brighten our day and brighten the peace garden. So we're gonna keep on a moving. Uh, Cause you know what? I actually feel rain coming already. So into the garden we go. And you know all about these. These are our herbs. So these are our delicious chives that we usually eat some of. This is the thyme. And oh, how we love to touch the leaves and smell how amazing they are. You know, thyme has these teeny weeny leaves, but if you put a little bit of thyme into anything, it makes it so delicious. And here's the oregano. Look how happy the herbs are. Um, even through the winter, it was a pretty mild winter. Um, and something else that has been growing in the winter is the garlic. We planted many, many garlic cloves, and I think I counted 50. There will be 50 bulbs of garlic that come out of this garden. It's going to be amazing. And they can be stored and enjoyed for later. So um, one interesting thing that will happen soon is that right out of the center of the garlic plant will be the scape, which is gonna be a stem with a, ball, a bud on it. And, um, and actually that is edible. So we always wanna take the scapes off so that they don't make their seeds um, and that the bulb keeps growing for a while. So the scapes will be um, ready to harvest in a few weeks and then uh, the garlic will be ready in June. Um, so here is a bed of lettuce. So some seeds were planted a few weeks ago and it's coming up very nicely. This is lettuce mix. So I just decided to add some romaine. So um, in a few weeks, we'll have some beautiful heads of romaine. And this is a bed of collards. Collard greens are really versatile and delicious in anything. And right next door to the collards, are some carrots. This is a baby carrot. The seed is so teeny weeny and the plant is teeny weeny, but it will grow a beautiful big green above the ground and a beautiful carrot below the ground. So here are the peas that were planted a few weeks ago and we planted them snugging up to a fence so that they could grow up the fence. So these should, they're gonna need another few weeks to grow, but it's staying nice and cool. And that's the way peas like them. I uh, think we planted them oh, sometime in mid-March. Mid so my friends, just a little peek at the Elias Garden. It will continue to grow. There will be invitations to 
uh, volunteer when we figure out the safe, safest way to do that. Um, but I want you to know that your garden is good in good hands and it sends you and I send you all the best. I send you blessings and good health and peace and joy wherever you are and uh, we'll stay in touch and see what happens next. Take care. Bye-bye.